We weren't going to speak about this today, but now I am because I keep getting comments. Whose fault was it? Hamilton or Verstappen? Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Race Driver Coach Show. And yeah, we're going to talk about it. Why not? Elephant in the room. Everyone else is talking about it. So why not just throw in my part? Um, I'm going to keep this really short for people that don't want to watch the full video by saying, take a look at this video. Stephen Bentley, you took this video. Amazing. By the way, I just looked at your YouTube account. 1.2 million views already. Well done. You caught the thing we all want to speak about. Verstappen and Hamilton into Cops Corner. And if you take a look at the video, you can see Verstappen gives Hamilton enough room, they make contact. That's it. If you give a car enough room on the inside, but you still touch, it's the car on the inside that's at fault. Hamilton, he got a penalty. The stewards did it right. It was an isolated decision, in, um, isolation, isolated incident. And they looked at it thinking there's enough room for him there. He should have got through or at least placed it correctly on the apex but he didn't they made contact your fault buddy 10 second penalty brilliant but i just want to get into the mind of a race driver and a little bit of physics so you understand why it actually happened and how hamilton's not some douchebag for doing this it's a racing incident right his his fault yeah fine but when you're going for the lead when you're on attack and you know by the way you know that you must get into the lead by the end of the lap. Otherwise, you're going to have a hard race. You will do almost anything. Now, if you just rewind, go back to the sprint race on the day before, just 24 hours before, the same situation happened. Okay, they're on lighter fuel. Fair enough. But Hamilton tried the outside of cops. Verstappen went inside. Hamilton tried the outside. It didn't work, and he had to spend the whole race, even though it's shorter, behind Verstappen and he couldn't get him just couldn't get near him and from the F2 race I can tell you it's hard to overtake even with DRS because there's so many high speed corners you just get aero wash you lose your front grip when you're following another car so as soon as you're getting close just before the DRS zone you're getting close but then because you've got no front grip they always pull away during the corners so it's really hard to overtake at Silverstone Hamilton knew this whilst he sat on the grid. He knows that he has to get past. He has to make a good start and he has to pounce. And he did immediately. He went into turn one. It didn't work because Verstappen sent it around the outside. Kind of what he does at Cops later on in the lap. So then he tries again and again. And then he gets a run on him into Cops corner. The famous corner that we all know is the old turn one from the old layout. Um, Verstappen comes across midway just over midway possibly that's all he can do because he's still got to leave a car's width for hamilton to be there to stay within the rules then they both come back to the left this is really important they both come back to the left and then take the corner verstappen needs enough room again on the inside and they touch because hamilton can't get into the apex and he can't get into the apex because you're doing 170 mile an hour ish you're coming from the inside where it's dusty and dirty you're coming back towards the race line and guess what happens then that means your car is pointing outwards it's pointing left the corner you're approaching is just going right you're facing left as you turn in drivers lesson number one always know where your nose is pointing if you've got a right hand corner coming up that car has got to be dead straight dead straight before going in if it's slightly pointing outward it's a completely different corner it's sharper it's slower the car's not going to like it as much all the fluids are over this side of the car now because you've just gone left before going right the tires are squids down on the left hand side the whole thing's messed up the corner weights are all over the place a race car especially an aero in an aero corner when you're in an aero car it loves to be precise no rash movements the platform to be flat but when you're in hamilton's position you're coming from a dusty side of the track and then you're coming back to the left to go into the right you're asking a lot of the car and something else people forgot about or didn't notice is that just randomly for that part of the race there was a tailwind so all the wind that you're getting off the front isn't as powerful because you've got the wind coming from behind 
check out the flags, you'll see it. So there was lots of things all contributing to why that car couldn't get into the apex. Also, we didn't slow it down enough. And then they touched. So yes, it's Hamilton's fault. But just again, in the mindset of a driver, it's like, I've just got to make it happen. I'm going to force myself into this corner. But a part, the, the problem is, is when you're over on the right hand side and you come back and you're at that speed, before you know it, the corner's on you. It's on you faster than you think. And you can see on the video that the 50 meter board's there coming up and he's still pointing outwards. So there's no wonder they touched. So yes, it is Hamilton's fault, but I want everyone to remember that there's a, there's a story behind it. The determination to get past and then the physics why it didn't quite work. He wouldn't have done it on purpose. How, you know, Verstappen would have got him back around the outside more likely. And then they would, he would have spent the whole race behind him and then it would have been a bit of a hit and miss. He has to finish in front of Verstappen because he's losing ground in the championship. Then if you go to the last, um, last few laps, when the same situation or very similar happens with the Clare, this time Hamilton slows it down a bit more. Okay, there's a difference in tyres and there's more marbles around the outside of the track now. The track's really dirty where Leclerc was trying to keep wide. So then he goes off wide and gives Hamilton the position or Hamilton gets past. But you could see there that Hammy did actually slow it down just that little bit more and made sure that he was pointed in the right direction on approach and getting into the corner, getting that apex. And that's what could have happened. But honestly, if he did that in the first lap, Verstappen would have just sent it around the outside and he would have kept the lead. This was do or die. Sometimes you have to do it that way. And it's what makes these drivers so exciting to watch. So everybody who starts to criticize and starts to say drivers should think more cleverly before they go for moves like this. This is what we love. If we see a driver who's really good at overtaking, and I get this with drivers when I'm working, at, working with them and they've got this skill of overtaking, I'm afraid that these drivers are going to make more mistakes than the average driver. The average driver who starts seventh, finishes seventh. That's the invisible driver. The kind of driver that starts can start at the back of the grid and still drive through, which we keep seeing Hamilton doing. That's the kind of driver that takes risk. Usually they get away with it, but it's like I'd say it's an 80-20. You're going to have two times when you shunt. Verstappen's the same. You've got two ballsy drivers there knowing both of them knowing that they cannot be in p2 by the end of lap one they must be leading it and when that happens you're going to have these fireworks and we love it this is what makes the sport right when it's two drivers like that going head to head in a real fight this is what we want so the opinions great keep them coming everybody keep firing your opinions because it's fueling the show this is what we need. This is what UFC is made of. And I know that race driving is not a combat sport and it's dangerous, but still you've got that element of the human fight in it. I'm going to outmaneuver you. I'm going to position my car where you make the decision where we're going to crash. That happens a lot more than you think. Sometimes you've got to pull that card. This was Hamilton's turn. Didn't really pan out well for Verstappen, but it panned out very well for the championship and for Hamilton, that's for sure. So, yeah. Hamilton's fault. He kind of got away with it because he still won. But just remember, people, make sure this is drivers now. Make sure the car, you know where that nose is pointing. You know there's a fast corner, so you've got to get back to the left earlier. Position it correctly before going in. And know that you've got to make the apex if you're going to go on the inside. Otherwise, you're the bad guy. If it's front to back, you're usually the bad guy. So just remember that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.